Hello, this video contains prayers for Sunday the 12th of July 2020 and accompanies another two videos with Bible readings and a reflection for the same date. I hope you will find blessing from Almighty God as you share in these things. Some words from Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it, for he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false and do not swear deceitfully. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Let us pray. With the faithful of all ages, called forth by divine majesty, intrigued by eternal mystery and impelled by overwhelming grace, we lift up our voices in praise God of Abraham, God of Jacob, God who has come to dwell in our midst, taking the form of a servant for our salvation. All honour and glory are yours, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and to you every knee should bow, every will succumb. May your name be revered across time and space, and may your wisdom order every life and every enterprise. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may dare to approach the throne of grace? All whose intentions are pure, all whose heart's desire is to enter the kingdom of God. Well do we know, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that we have no right or entitlement to be in your presence, to sit at your feet. Such is the poverty of our spirit, such is the frailty of our faith and the absence of grace within us, that we are worthy only of your rejection. We are willful in our disobedience, careless in our putting the needs of our neighbour behind our own comfort and consolation. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love. Make us to know your ways. Teach us your paths. Lead us in truth and teach us, for you are the God of our salvation and in you alone is our hope. Turn to us and be gracious, for we are lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of our hearts and bring us out of our distress. Consider our affliction and our trouble and forgive all our sin. Let us open our hearts to God in a moment of stillness that we might submit to his healing grace. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the sound of our pleadings. The Lord is our strength and our shield. In him is the trust of our hearts. So we are helped and our hearts exult. Our song is a hymn of praise to the one who is the Most High. O Lord, from whom all good things come, Grant to us, your humble servants, 
that by your holy inspiration we may think only those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding may perform the same to your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And in the fellowship of our faith, let us each according to our own tradition offer unto God that prayer which Christ himself has taught us. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. <laughs>